It's been a collaborative effort really steered by the LLDC inviting different partners to come and join and UCL have been phenomenal. They've been one of the early adopters, if you like, to, to help fuel the network and to bring new relationships and new potential. Probably what's most special about the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park is the people that are here and the amazing kind of network. So we've got a real cluster of private sector, big and small, academic communities within the network, community partners that have been here before the Games and all the way through and afterwards, as well as new residents. What's important is how we can draw those different people together and form a real network of collaboration and engagement. There's two things that really brought us together. It's the physicality and commitment to East London and being co-located here on the park and the long-term legacy of the Olympics. So Lenlis has really been working with the partners to think about the future of workplace and how innovation can happen in physical spaces across the park in an inclusive way. Essential to building out that concept of an innovation campus was the build of the Innovation Centre, which is Plexor. So not only do we create a vibrant ecosystem within, but we're here to support collaborations for all of those around the Heres campus. We've got so many great academic partners, including UCL, um, some great public sector partners, including the London Legacy Development Corporation. And we've got the partners that exist at Here East, so some of the biggest corporates in the world, together with some of the most exciting startups and scale-ups. The access to knowledge of how to grow is so vast. We have grown as an organisation by being here. So we use sport as a vehicle to educate, empower and uplift the community in order to get young people to start to thrive and think about the possibilities for them and you know the future of work around these spaces. It's really about building those relationships and the trust that you need between those different players to be able to activate change. We were introduced uh, to Mumbly, um, a startup organisation by UCL, and off the back of that, we worked to develop a trial on the park, which was about testing new sensor technology to do a real time read on the audio quality in venues. Through the work on the East London Inclusive Enterprise Zone, Plexor collaborated with UCL to rethink what accessible workspace was, felt like, looked like, and how it was experienced. And as a result of the Research England grant, we were able to put to work new areas of Plexal that could be accessible, that were redesigned to be more user-centric. Our new relationship with UCL has been really interesting and quite personable. The tuition program that we run together, which is actually called Bridging the Gap, recognising that the attainment gap is quite high and wide. They wanted to bring tutors, bring in their students as well, to help some of our young people from our communities to help bridge the gap. So everything that we've been learning about networks and the role of networks in activating a kind of local economy and ecosystem is now developing into the sort of next chapter for the park around its, its innovation story. And we've been formalising our network across the private, public, academic and community partners to create a new innovation programme called SHIFT. And SHIFT is all about recognising the park as an urban testbed and recognising the value of that innovation network that is built around the park. 